sometimes life throws you curveballs and you just gotta take what you can get and jump at opportunities. This is one such opportunity. So, I don't know how long to make this story, but let's just say we have a really exciting adventure we're going on today and we have a big surprise. We're heading out now. As you can see, we got the horse trailer on back. So it's not too big of a surprise to guess that we're getting a horse, but wait till you see what we end up with. We'll check in with you as we roll up on the property. Okay, we're pulling up to the gate. You're about to see the surprise. All right, here we are. This is uh, Sunrise's Golden Image, one of the most famous stallions in the breed. And this mare back here is our mare's full sister, Lucky, the mare that our daughters have been winning all the show and, and Isaac have been winning all the shows on. 100% full sister. So a daughter out of Grand Central and out of, a, out of a pride mare. And she has a full out of image. We're getting all, the whole herd. All four. Uh, Hi, it's a privilege to own you. Okay, we have somebody deal with the gate. Yep. Isaac, you want to work the gate? So a couple years back, we had the privilege of meeting the couple, um, the previous owners of Image and Jesse. At that time when we uh, met them, Jesse was expecting, um, and she ended up having a little bay filly. And we actually bought that bay filly. Her name is Lady, and she now lives at our farm. Uh, we tried to buy Jesse at that time, too, but the... Um, previous owner wasn't ready um, to let her go, but she did promise if she ever decided to let her horses go that we would be the first to know. So we really felt that one day we would own Jesse. We just didn't think it would be so soon. We were thinking it would be years down the road. So we are very excited for this mare to come live at our farm. And then when she offered us image, um, that just doubled the excitement. Um, she, we also brought home this beautiful Palomino mare um, and then Jesse's little stud colt um, is on her side too. Oh, she's so pretty. So once we started loading the horses, we got a little concerned about putting the full back there. Um, with three grown horses and a trailer, it was a bit cramped. And even though the baby would be with its mama, um, it, it's, it could still be a risk. Like if we had to stop fast or something and she accidentally stepped on it. Um, so he's about five days old here. Um, so pretty brand new. So we decided to just go ahead and put him in the back seat with the kids. Uh, yes, it would be set, um, stressful for the mama and the uh, foal to be separated, okay. um, but we thought it was yeah. the better um, decision of the two choices that we had. Okay, we have a horse inside our truck. <laughs> level expert there, YouTube level expert. Got a stallion, two brood mares, and a baby, and one load in a three horse trailer. Hey, baby. You're okay, hon. That was scary, huh? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. So it was about an hour and a half um, drive back to the, our farm, and the little colt did fairly well. Uh, of course, he was a little stressed out with the situation, but he stayed pretty calm, um, and it was better than him getting hurt, um, putting him back there in the cramped trailer with the big horses. So he would he tried to stand up a few times, but Becca would just hold him down gently and talk to him softly and keep him calm. But I'm sure he was pretty happy when we finally got him out of the back seat of the truck.
His legs are asleep. Oh, poor little girl. She's shaking. Look at that, his legs are asleep. Oh. Charlie? Even more. So we put Jessie and her foal in the barn in the round pen, and then Image and the other mare we put out in a dry lot that we had. And then we just, um, we fed them and uh, left them alone for the evening so they could get used to their surroundings and settle down. So it's a day later, we're home, and we can talk about the surprise that we got. We got the whole herd of horses. We got this mare here, which was our object horse to get originally. And that's because She's a 100% full sister to our world champion show mare, uh, Lucky. You've seen her in other videos and, and more videos coming. So this mare is out of Grand Central. Let me turn her around where you can see her better. There we go. Her name's Jessie. She's out of Grand Central. And this little baby back here we got is her baby. And he is out of Sunrise's Golden Image. Which, if you've been following the Foxtrotter show world, all of these Jester granddaughters, like Jessie here, out of Prince Jester, uh, out of the, you know, that would be the grandpa of her, when they're bred to image, they're throwing all the, wor the world champion and maturity champions and just wonderful show horses right now, and that's how he's bred. So he should be an absolute ideal show horse. Then there's his daddy right there. We got his daddy in the deal too. He's well up in his 20s, but he's in great shape as you can see. And that's Sunrise's golden image. And I can't even list all of his accolades and breeding. And this year alone, he should probably have multiple world champions uh, that he sired once the world championships happen in Ava in September. Uh, we'll hold, we're, we got our fingers crossed for owning the sire of the year in the breed is what I'm really hoping happens. But uh, we also got that other Palomino mare in the background. I don't even know her name yet. Uh, the lady called her Easy. I don't have her papers pulled up yet, but she should be bred to image. She's been running with him. She's been bred to him four times before in the past and produced a dark Palomino each time. So we really got a good, good addition to our farm here. And we'll be standing uh, image up for stud for uh, uh, outside mares for the rest of the time that we own him or the rest of the time that he's able to healthfully breed mares as you can tell right now he's not hurting oh here let's let him see uh, Jesse move and see the colt move see there there's a lot of talent and because image is so old I want to make sure I get another foal out of her because I like mares better than geldings so I'm gonna let her breed back but after that foal my goal will be to uh, let her dry up for a year and set her up to show just to see how good she would have been of course she'll be 13 by that time that'll be three years from now uh, but I've set that whole older horses up before to show and worked out all right so if she shows any promise, we'll show her a year, and if not, we'll breed her back to probably to our other uh, Playboy stud by that time. Here's the other half of our of our uh, triumphant weekend. <laughs> we uh, made this deal to get Image the day before the maturity. Not that it would have changed. The lady is very charitable, and she was just giving us a great deal because she likes us. So it wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, but uh, I just think it was a good good omen that we got him the day before his three-year-old daughter turned my swag on won the three-year-old maturity with David Ogle riding her so we had last year his daughter Gretchen Wilson won the three-year-old maturity and the three-year-old world championship if I remember right this year her daughter won the three-year-old maturity two-year-old maturity's coming up and he's got another daughter in it that's really good so he's having a great couple of years a lot of world champions, a lot of maturity champions. And as you can see, he's still in great shape.
So, if you got a mare, any mare, <laughs> come see us as soon as possible. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe for his progress and to see all of his babies and all the training. Talk to you later.